Hello everybody, Rick Simpis, Time Traveler here. Uh, today I am back on Tech Fortress. Not, I, I admit, I haven't been on much recently. Um, honestly, just, you know, kind of a life thing. But mostly it's just been, you know, I've been focusing on a lot of the uh, other series I do. And um, yeah, this one's kind of uh, fallen to the side a little bit. So I thought I'd come on. Uh, just check out what's been going on around here. Oh, yeah, uh, for anybody who has followed my series before, uh, you'll know that for a while I had kind of like a little fish area or water, giant water tank in here. Uh, the idea was that, you know, if the game ever decided to give me a guardian, then I would have one in here. And it actually did once. It did give me a guardian one time. But, uh, ultimately it's just like, it just feels like a waste. And, I mean, look at this over here. When I built this area for my dogs with its little artificial lava sun, I mean, I had like two or three dogs at the time. And the truth was, is that Tech Fortress was kind of at a point where it really could not give you that many pets. Um, so, yeah, I thought, oh, this will be no problem. Uh, then Robo, who is the administrator, kind of came in, uh, updated the coding a little bit to allow for more dogs. And now I'm at 10. I mean... First of all, you know, look how colorful some of these uh, collars are. And, yeah, I actually do know the names of every dog that I have. Uh, even though I have 10, there's Kronos and Gumdrop. And over here is Daisy. Can, wait, let me see if I can get around to actually show her. Yeah, there's Daisy. There's, uh, is that Sunshine there? And Sprout in the green. Sprout, say hi, Sprout. Yeah, that's Woodrow in the brown. Um, Lily, Snowball, or Snowflakes, that's right, uh, Prismarine, and Richard. Uh, so yeah, what I thought I'd do is I thought I would sort of expand this area over here to make for a dogs, uh, you know, space for the dogs, um, put some nice grass, I can have like this whole section. Uh, I'll get to the ladder in, or steps in a minute, and as far as what I would do with the dog area, Thought I might give them to the cats who are just kind of here, Misty and Calvin and Sven. Uh, they can have the dog area, so they can have like the green grass and the sunlight and the warmth. And uh, Blueberry, the uh, wool golem over here, who I put in place to sort of keep the dogs company. Oh, the jack o' lantern golem, that's what it was. Yeah, so uh, some things I've been working on, like I said. Um, and over here, uh, this is uh, still a work in progress, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tunnel that goes all the way from here to the land over there. And what I'd actually like to do is, in future videos, and I know Toaster Dolph especially will hate me for this, but I thought I might take like some of these guys out once in a while, or like maybe ride my horse, because you know that land over there actually is part of a huge continent. I thought it just might be nice to let them exercise once in a while. I mean, look how many animals I have. And, I mean, this is just a you know this is a sea temple you know none of these animals are meant to be kept underwater so yeah i thought i'd let them out once in a while all right uh so as far as what i might be doing as f with the rest of my time uh honestly i decided to have a little bit of fun um part of the reason i've been having trouble recording is that it's just kind of hard to find people on these days just all the people that i used to hang out with i mean they've been kind of busy uh, as far as at the moment, uh, I mean, I have a player on named Skydiving Monkeys, which, okay, I mean, I'll, that is an awesome name. I'm not, you know, going to say anything about that, and I d I've never met the player, so, uh, yeah, but, you know, a lot of the ones I normally would be with, like Ivo 2000, Toaster Dolphin, yeah, uh, they're all just very busy these days, and it's kind of hard to connect with some of them sometimes. So I thought I would do something a little bit more fun. Now, I can't remember anymore what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. All right. So, yeah. Let me uh, get one more of these. And well, I have one stick. Not sure what I'm going to do with one single stick. But, uh, all right. Let's go to the wood over here. And, wow. This is the other thing about living uh, in an underwater area is that you know, wood actually is a bit more rare uh, these days, you know, just because of the situation. Oh, I didn't get enough. I did not get enough. All right, so let's get two more pieces of wood um, and come over here and make two more sticks and an item frame. And all right, 
So, yeah, I thought I'd do something just a little bit, sort of uh, a little bit normal, a little bit laid back. I just thought I would make kind of a map for myself of the area. Now, I did think about this for a while. I thought maybe I should make, like, one map that just kind of uh, covered a large part of the area. Let's see. Ah, why not? All right. So, but then I thought, you know, you might lose some of the detail. I, mean, I don't know. I've never actually made a gigantic map. But, oh. I, oh, do not want an item frame and an item frame. All right, so I thought I would just kind of make some maps of the area just to sort of show off uh, what's around me. So I do need to make some maps, and for anybody who doesn't know how to make a map, I mean, let's see, what do we have? We have some iron. I guess let's just turn all of that into iron. I mean, it's easy enough to change it back. And, yeah, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there we go. So yeah, uh, I need some paper, and I can't remember how to do this because I did make some for um, some Christmas presents, and um, yeah, I couldn't remember. Oh, does it take? Okay, it does take eight to make just one. So um, yeah, this one's just called my map. At, yeah, whatever. All right, so let's, uh, okay, I have all my compasses. I don't need to worry about that, but I do need to make lots and lots of paper. So let's uh, see how much I get here and how many maps would that make me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I now have seven maps and okay uh for now i'm just gonna put everything that i don't need just in here um just in case especially with it being oh it's actually daytime now so that's a good time all right so let's start with the first map then um and just look at what all we have here so this is my house it's just kind of at the corner of that little space and i believe that might actually be my above ground house over there so uh, let's head through the nether. Uh, no, we're not going to try and make a map of the nether. I I don't even know what... Oh, please let me go through before these things blast me. Okay. Wow, there are a lot of them. It's like, we won't be in the video. And then they want to show how horrible they can be while they're in the video. All right. So let's uh, come on through here then. And all right. So yeah, okay. This is my house. And let's see where that is on the map. All right, so, oh yeah, see, like that. You know, we're just kind of filling in that little space. And there is, okay. I got to kind of get my bearings as far as which way is north. Um, okay, I got to think about this. So, my sea temple is that way. Um, okay, so this way would be north. So let's, uh come over here I gotta get closer to the land obviously and um yeah okay so we're still not oh I should probably put this down all right so that's a uh, kind of map number one out of the way so let's uh start with the next map I guess and oh well we just pulled it out and already it is nearly completely filled in except for this section over here. There's like a little bit in the corner. So this is actually gonna take a lot less time than I want. Um, yeah, all right, so what do we have here? Oh, oh, all right, so that is going to be, okay, you know what, I think this will just be the easiest way to sort of keep track of it. All right, so we have this one in the middle, that one there, so wait, let me just take a moment and see what where it is that we need to go next. All right, so we need to head south by going in that direction. So, uh, I did not bring a, uh, oh yeah, I don't want to turn this into anything yet. All right, I do want to get a boat. I mean, I'm sure I must have some boats. If nothing else, I at least have a crafting table here, and I don't have to make another one of those. So, uh, yeah, here's my little above ground house that I actually kind of inherited from somebody. But, um, I, oh, sorry, okay. So we'll just make ourselves a dark oak boat. There we go. All right, so, and why don't we put some dark oak 
back in here. All right, so of uh, rain. Hmm. All right, you know what? Whatever. We can deal with rain. It's not going to be a problem. All right. So, yeah, I want to get off of the one map so that I can know when to start the night. And so it looks like if I go to the end of the land, that will be where the next one will start. So let's go ahead and put that into the inventory. Come down here. And I guess I just didn't think about like maps, like just how little space they might actually show. I, uh, you know, again, oh, what the? It, I know it's an empty map. I want to fill it. Why can't I? Oh, okay. We have to actually, all right. So we just have to go to that little bit of a corner down there. All right. You know, what? we're getting this done. All right. Map making and being like explorers of old. All right. So let's see. Let's, uh, oh. And now it's filled up. All right, so now I need to turn myself over this way. All right, let me see. Am I going the right way? All right, so yeah. All right, we got that one done. And this should make like a really nice mural for the uh, for the house once I get done with it. All right, so let's uh, continue on this way until we end up off of the one map, and that's when we'll start the next one. Um, again, you know, I wasn't sure how long this would take or, you know, what to expect from it, but, uh, okay. So let's, uh, head over here. And this way, it'll also kind of give me an idea of, you know, this is what's all around me. So, all right, let's, uh, oh, wow. This part's a little underwhelming. Is that my sea temple there though? I think it might be, but, uh, yeah, again, I just kind of pull it out and, all right, so let's see, that one goes here. So I still need to kind of sail off to the edge of that one. And then that's where the next one will start. And, oh, right, I forgot. This part's going to be showing Toaster Dolphin's house. So, all right. You know, that's not too bad, though. You know, got a nice little neighbor there. And let's go ahead and get my empty map in my hand. And, all right, so we just got to sit. <laughs> Oh, wow, his uh, dragon kind of has uh, some interesting detail there, um, just because of, wow, I guess that's the horns, but it kind of looks like goofy, uh, cartoonish eyes, so, all right, let's uh, come over here then, and, all right, so that's all filled in, uh, this is going to take no time at all, so, uh, at this point, I just need to head upwards until I get off of the one map, which should be like just, holy cow, a diving, whoa, diving uh, guardians, that's what it is. Wow, I have so many boats up there. I've got to like come in and kind of collect them sometime. All right, so that part is done. And let me get my next map out and see what's going on. Oh, is this McClurg's house? I think it might be. Uh, like yeah okay so this is mcclurg's house and where am i at now my okay i'm just merely on a level wow i did not realize just how close this place was so i actually want to go past uh north a little farther past can get around here i get i feel like it's going to connect uh that's just my feeling but uh i don't know maybe maybe i'm just not seeing it oh no look at that it does all right so we can just sail from one side to the other was there like a tunnel that we went? No, I guess you just literally have to swim from one to the other. All right, so let's uh, get out the next map. And yeah, we're gonna be like, like I said, those old, old explorers just out into the sea. So, all right, so from here, I just got to go past. All right, yeah, I'm, past is really gonna mean going around. And I guess this is gonna be the next, uh, map here and all right now i know somebody who has actually done some interesting things with some maps on this server has actually been ibo where he made like this huge place that wait oh wow um okay i don't want to go this way i'm going to sail backwards uh well not backwards but i'm going to go back the way i came uh because i don't know how far that's going to go to it connects but it's certainly going to be quite a ways away if I do lose my boat, I don't think I'll be able to get it because it will be in uh, McClurg's claimed territory. So let's see, where are we at now? Uh, oh, we're off here. Uh, 
which map are we on now? Is this this one? No, we're not on this one. Um, are we on this one? Uh, wow. Okay, uh, I'm kind of getting lost here. Wait, okay. Oh, you know what? That might. Wait, which which way am I? Ah, all right. So let's uh, let's try sailing maybe a little bit over here. And let's see if this map shows us where we're at. No, okay. So we're in the bottom corner from there, which would seem to indicate we're here. Okay, here we are. So at this point, gotta go this way. All right. So let's see. This is going to take us to. Like I said, the part that's going to be closest to my house over here, I think. All right, so let's see. Am I on this map now? This is such a weird way of trying to get around a world. Um, and again, I mean, I just literally had no idea what to expect as far as this kind of stuff goes. Uh, okay, so I think maybe I'm on this map now. Is that right? Uh, where am I at? Okay, yeah. So I'm kind of approaching the bottom, but, uh, I don't know. That always sounds terrible. All right, let's come over to here then. And this might actually be somebody else's property. Oh, no, this is still part of mine. This is like the area just a little bit above my house. So, uh, let's put out of the water. And, all right, let's, uh. Put this back in and recollect because I don't know. I know like some people come on like, you know, for Minecraft, just kind of like, oh, I'll just take what I need, you know, just kind of that. But for me, I don't know. I kind of like to, you know, reuse things if possible or, oh, no, that's not going to work. All right. So let's uh, come over to here then and please tell me. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Feels a little underwhelming now that I finished that little project. I mean, it wasn't really much of a project. I, you know, I'll grant you that, but I don't know. Like I said, it's been a while, and sometimes one of the hardest things about being on a place like Tech Fortress is, you know, one of the best things about being on Tech Fortress is that, you know, it is a world shared by lots of other people. And the great thing is that, you know, there are some really awesome people that come onto this website. And, you know, certainly I do think uh, very highly of uh, Robo, who does the... Uh, administration work of it uh, and uh, technically who owns it you know or not technically actually does own it um, but you know also a lot of the other people like I said um, pretty much almost anybody who's been in any of my videos uh, you know it's like I think you know very much you get that's kind of like my seal of approval if you're on a Rex Tempest video okay yeah I don't know why I said that or went that way does that seem like a baby pigman? I, I just gotta see. I don't even know if I can actually do this, but... Um... Hmm. Oh, no, I think I just saw a sparkle effect from the... One of the many ender chests. Oh. There's that guy. Have fun in the nether. Alright. So, yeah, I'm back home. It is now nighttime. But, you know, when you're living under the ocean, nighttime just doesn't really mean as much, to be honest. So, um, all right, let's uh, get the first three under here. And let's go ahead and put them in place. And let's see how this looks once we get it all together. Like uh, some kind of awesome puzzle. So, all right, let's uh the next three up. And... Let's see, and oh yeah, look at that. There I am. And the final one. So let's uh, get those up. And yeah, so uh, this is the area around my house. Of course, this little dot is um, where we're at. Um, and yeah, look at that. All right, well, uh, yeah, if you do want to see more Tech Fortress videos, uh, you know, just let me know. Uh, you can just simply click the like button down below. Um, and if you want to see when I do upload Tech Fortress videos, of course, the easiest way is just to subscribe. Uh, anyway, I, I didn't break that, did I? Okay. All right. I uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching. And next time I do a Tech Fortress video, I'll try to definitely make sure I have some more people hanging out with me and doing stuff with me. So until then, I want to say thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.